This all started when I found a whiskey barrel on my porch. With no note, there was really only one person it could be. Hey mom. Hey, quick question. Did, did you happen to send me a whiskey barrel to my house? It turns out she forgot to tell me it was on its way. However, she wanted me to turn it into a decoration for her front porch. So, since I love my mom, I said, okay, let me hear more. Fortunately enough, Inventables actually sent me a Silhouette Cameo, which is a very cool stencil cutting machine. So I hopped into the design software that came with it and created a few different designs to use. If you want to know more about the Cameo, then you can go to Inventables.com. It took me a few days to come up with the different designs. However, once I had them finalized, I just put my material into the machine, pushed go, and then gave it a few minutes to cut out my designs for me. I think that's pretty awesome. Then I was able to head out to the shop and actually start drilling out the different designs. When I got through with one, I would simply move over the design and then start again. Hmm. You can actually smell the whiskey. That's funny. To be honest, it wasn't that slow of a process, but my hands would give out on me way before I was ready to call it done. My mom requested to have a winter side and a spring side, so I used tape as a reference, then started on the winter. Now I actually used a level to make sure that these were as straight as possible. I was first using a drill bit to clean up the holes, but then quickly realized that a countersink bit did a much better job. So on the next one, I actually started off using the countersink bit and was much happier with the way the design came out. Then I got started on the spring side, and unfortunately the butterflies did not come out as clear and illuminated as possible, because as you can see my drill is not going in very straight, it has a slight tilt to it. But it is what it is, and it still looks cool. Finally it was on to the flowers, which took a little over an hour for each one. It's probably my favorite, and eventually, I did make it to the last hole. Okay, I think that was actually the last hole. To gain access to the inside, I did a few different plunge cuts with my circular saw, then came back with my jigsaw to finish them up. It was my original plan to make this a hinged door, but you'll see it doesn't work out. I quickly threw together something to mount lights to. I started cutting and running all of the wire to connect one light to the next. And then just mounted each one of the light fixtures. To run in power, I just enlarged one of the existing holes. Then went up to the top and started making a spot for a switch to go. This is the part where the top started falling apart on me, so I went ahead and disassembled the rest of it just to make things easier on myself. I used a router to carve away some material so the switch would fit in place. Then I finished wiring it all together, plugged it in, and then crossed my fingers that it would work. Okay, enough excitement. Then I put the fixture inside the barrel and used a few screws to attach it to the bottom. I reassembled the top as best as possible, then set it in place and turned off the lights. happy with the way that this came out. However, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am with this lid situation. 
What I'll probably end up doing is making a brand new lid and putting a handle on it. That way my folks can remove the entire thing if they need to access the inside to change a light bulb or whatnot. Now I know that the winter side illuminates a little bit better than the spring side. However, the, the camera really doesn't do it justice on just how cool the spring side looks. But I'm really, really happy with both of the sides. Now, I know that not too many people are gonna wanna replicate a, this identical project. However, you can very easily take the same idea, the, the technique, the method, and do something on a much smaller scale. Nick Ferry did something similar last year to where he made a custom lamp. It was a four-sided box, and he used the drill press to drill holes, put a light inside, and had a lamp. So you can, you can be a little creative with it and think outside the box, or the barrel in this case. Now, I do have all of these uh, patterns that I made, these stencils that I made, uh, available for download on my blog. So if you like the stencils, hop over there and you can download them. Also, you'll find a written tutorial with a lot more detail um, on, on all of the steps. So the blog is wellproduced.com and of course I would love to hear your thoughts below on what you think about my mom's front porch giant lamp decoration. <laughs> I'll work on the title. So I'm gonna go rest my hands but I will see you soon. Oh and because I have a feeling you're about to ask it's 4,316 holes.